Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, let's learn how to create and modify AI presets inside of On One Photo Raw. They're incredibly easy to make and can save you a ton of time when you're editing, especially when you're dealing with photographs that have similar subjects in them. So let's jump into it. Let's create some AI presets. So inside of Photo Raw, to create an AI preset, let's grab some filters and we'll add them into specific regions of the scene. So to place specific filters in specific areas of this image, there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. The first way is to go into the Effects tab. We're going to add a filter, and we can use this Apply with Mask to section to apply a mask for a specific filter into a specific region. So let's choose Architecture here. And I'm going to incorporate dynamic contrast into it to bring in some detail into the building. Now, just for the demo here, I'm going to use Surreal there so that you can see that before and after a bit easier. But you can, of course, modify this to fit whatever image that you are adjusting. I may pull back on the opacity just a little bit there so that's not too intense but I really like that detail pop within the building. So we'll add in another filter here, and let's add in a filter that deals with the sky region. And let's bring in a bit of a glow using the glow filter and one of my favorite presets in glow, darker. We'll continue on here. And I'm going to use the natural ground option and the mountain region here. And let's go in and add in sunshine into those. We'll do one last filter here. And let's grab the flora and we'll use this color enhancer filter. We'll set that to foliage and let's just boost the saturation a little bit. So we've added in those four different filters and they're all applied to specific regions within the photo. So now if we want to use this preset look that we just created on other images that have similar regions within them, we can just head into this little icon here. It lives in the effects tab and it's just this little rectangle with an arrow point pointing down into it. We can select that. This will pull up our Save Preset dialog. So I'll just rename this Architecture Nature Pop. I'm going to go into this menu here, and I'm going to add a new category, and I'll name this Fave Architecture Presets. Now the biggest thing that we need to do is we need to ensure that in this effects region here, because we've added an AI masks, that we enable the apply masks option there. I'm also just going to disable that develop section there so that it doesn't carry any develop settings over and we just have our effects tab with those AI masks that we created. So I'll choose save there. And so I've opened up another image inside of Photo Raw, and I'm just going to open up my preset drawer here. And I'll go down to that category I just created, my fave architecture presets there. And if I select this preset, it's gone in and it's applied those four different filters into those same regions in this photograph. So we have dynamic contrast on the architecture. We have glow within the sky. 
We have sunshine within the natural ground there and the mountains. And then the color enhancer within the trees and the foliage. Now we can always update or modify these AI presets if we need to. So for example, if we want to add in water into this AI preset, we can add a filter. We'll select water there. And with our water, we'll use another glow filter. And we'll just again, set that to darker there. So to update this preset to add in that water modification there, we're gonna head over to our preset that we created. We'll right click, and this will pull up this menu here with different options that we can use with the preset. What we're gonna choose is update preset with current settings. And again, we're gonna make sure that we have only the effects tab enabled there, unless we've used local adjustments or whatever it may be that we want to add into the preset. But because we're only using the effects tab here, we're gonna make sure that's the only thing enabled. And again, I'm going to ensure that apply masks is enabled there. Then I can head down and choose update. And now it's updated that preset to include that water modification. Now let's take a look at creating an AI preset using a portrait. So remember earlier I was saying there's a couple of different ways that you can target specific regions within your scene with AI masking. The way we did it earlier was going to the effects tab, adding a filter, and then choosing to apply with a mask to one of these specific areas. But rather than doing that on this left-hand side, we're just going to choose the filter that we want to apply. In this case, I want to add in a nice glow around my portrait, but I don't want the glow to be applied to the subject portrait in the scene. So let's just choose glow here. I'm gonna use that darker option and it works really well surrounding the portrait. But because I may be dealing with other portrait images that I don't want this glow to be applied to, I'm gonna to go to the masking options here for that glow filter. And in my properties dialog, and my masking tab here, I'm gonna use this mask AI region menu. I'm gonna choose people and I'm going to ensure that this paint out option is enabled so that I can choose apply there and it will remove that glow filter from the person within my scene. Now I can always do the same method and apply a filter into the specific region where my person is. We can add a filter Let's just add in sunshine. Just make it a bit strong there. And in the masking tab here, we're gonna use our region menu. We'll go to people. And now we're gonna choose paint in. So if we apply that, it's going to remove that sunshine filter from the surrounding regions. And it's just going to apply it to that person there. Now, typically when I'm applying filters to people here, I'll go in and use this feathering slider to eliminate some of that edging that goes on when I've used the AI masking. It does a good job of identifying the person in here, but it's gone over a little bit on that left-hand side. And by feathering it a bit, we can take some of that edge away. So let's create this as a preset. We'll just again choose this option here within the effects tab. I'll add a new category and I'll just name this fave portrait presets. And we'll put glow background. Again, we're going to disable any of those options that we don't want included in the preset. I'm gonna go into the effects section here, going to ensure that apply masks is enabled there and we'll choose save.
So I've opened up another portrait here and let's apply that glow background preset that we just created to this image. I'll go into my presets, navigate to that category we just made, and we'll choose that glow background preset. If we go into the effects tab here, we have the glow filter applied around the portrait, but it's not applying itself to the actual person within the scene. And then we have that sunshine filter applying itself to the portrait subject. Now let's just update this with another filter. I'll add on a filter here and we'll just use a vignette. I'll use big softy, maybe use it at 50% there. And so we've made a different look within the scene here with that vignette. So we can either create a new preset entirely, or remember we can go to our preset, we can right click and we can update the preset with those current settings. Just ensure that when you've applied masks, whether it's with effects, portrait AI or local adjustments, that you have that apply masks option enabled there. That's going to carry over that AI masking for those other images that you apply the preset to. So if we hit the backslash scan our keyboard, we've created a quick look that we can then apply to other portraits if we need to. And all we need to do to apply that is by clicking on that one preset. So that's how to create and modify AI presets instead of On One Photo Raw. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.